In this video, I'm going to show Linux users how to install and use the basic features of the calendar, also known as the GNOME calendar. And for those of you that are using the GNOME desktop environment or ecosystem, you'll have some more features than those that don't use those. So if you have a Linux distribution, you don't have to have the GNOME desktop to install the calendar on your system, but you will need the GNOME desktop for use of all of its features. Let's take a look at what calendar is. Calendar, also known as the GNOME calendar, is a simple and beautiful calendar application designed perfectly to fit the GNOME desktop, but it can be also installed on other Linux desktops or distributions. Now, here's three different methods. There's probably multiple methods to install it, but I chose the three different ones. For those running Ubuntu or the Debian-based systems, you may want to use method one. If you like installing by using the terminal, you just click on the terminal or bring up your terminal, go sudo apt update or sudo apt get update, then sudo apt install GNOME calendar or sudo apt get GNOME uh, install GNOME Calendar. You can just simply copy and paste which makes it simpler to install by using the terminal and then when it prompts you for uh, yes or no hit Y and press the enter return and it will install it on your system. Now for those of you that likes to download the actual installation file and you can actually install it on more than just Ubuntu and Debian based systems. Now uh, it says choose the horses. It's, this is a security feature making sure that I'm a human and not some sort of robot. Once you get to the pkgs.org, uh, you can search for GNOME Calendar. If you click the link that I have there, it will actually bring up the different distributions that you can install the GNOME Calendar. You can install it on Alpine, R Alt, Enterprise Linux, Debian, Fedora, so you can get install the RPMs here. Uh, and if I go down, I'd be installing it on the Ubuntu 22.04, the Jamie Jellyfish. So I'd click this Deb link. And then here is the information. And then there is the link where I can actually install the Deb file by copying and pasting and putting that link. And it will let me download the installation file where I can double click on it. Or I can just simply do how to install by using the terminal, which I also have on my website. So as you can see here, it's not just a Ubuntu and Debian based systems. You have a other variety of uh, different Linux distributions that you can install it from by downloading the installation file from that link. If you have the software center on your computer or known now as the software, you can click on it, search for calendar. You want to install the calendar for GNOME. So click on that. Once you do, you can drop down to choose uh, the source, whether a flat pack from the user or a flat pack from the system user, and then click the install button, let it do its thing. And when you finish, you can click the open button or it should be in your office menu if you're using a menu like me. And up here is the calendar. So when I click on that, it should immediately open it up. Let me minimize it for now. So you can click open this way. Now to remove it, if you've installed it by the terminal, you can just simply go sudo apt remove gnome calendar, copy and paste that and put it in your terminal. If you installed it by flat pack, just open up the software center, click on the trash can icon and it will remove it from your system. As you can see, once you've got it installed, it should then be placed on your system so that you can find it however it is on your system. Once you uh, have it installed, you're ready then to place appointments or different events on your calendar. And I go through when I do the step by step, I'm going to quickly show you these step by steps and then I'll actually do one on uh, an example myself. So here I brought up the calendar. I'm going to maximize it so that you can see the features better. Now I started putting things on April when I started my first chemo treatment which was April the uh, 20th and then I had an MRI on the 27th and I did my second chemo treatment. We are now in the month of May so there's my third chemo treatment that I took this past Thursday and this coming Thursday will be my fourth chemo treatment. Hopefully it'll be my last one because uh, after the first week it did make me sick for three days and I've been away from making Linux videos and updating my web page because of medical reasons. So I do have an appointment not this Friday but next Friday so hopefully things will start improving soon or that they can find a way to help me with my health issues. And this is not about my health here so let's get back into uh, our calendar. At the top you can choose uh, birthday anniversaries and anniversaries and you can click on it. You can manage your calendars. You can uh, 
make different events that you have here. You can synchronize calendars. Now, if you're using the GNOME ecosystem or GNOME environment, it works better because you can go into the settings, online settings, to synchronize your calendars. For someone like me that's not using the GNOME ecosystem, uh, that feature is not available. And you can click the mail and manage calendars, which is here. You click here, you got your online accounts. Like I said, when I click this, it really doesn't do anything because I don't have the the uh, GNOME. Uh, you can go to weather, your keyboard shortcuts. You can, if you prefer keyboard shortcuts rather than using a mouse, if you're on a laptop and don't like the touchpad and don't have a mouse, you can use the keyboard shortcuts. And you've got the about calendar. This is currently at 44.1, the version. You can click here to take you to their website. You can go to support questions. So if you have a question about the GNOME calendar, I've just recently started using it, so I'm not an expert. I'm just showing you the basic features of it. If you have a more advanced question, you can click here to go to their website and ask the developers or the community of people that's been using it for a while questions. If you have an issue that's for your system, you can go and report an issue. You can click the credits to see who the, the coders were and the people that helped design it. You can also see some more legal information. So this is a little bit about uh, calendar. At the top, if you've been using it a while, especially for several years, you can click up here to search for events that you may have on your calendar. You can add events by adding a new event by hitting the plus. This is your minimize, the maximize, and the close. You can change the view from a week view to a month view. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add an event to this day. All right, if I want to say, and I think I got something on the clipboard, that's how to install it, but if I wanted to add an event, let me go back here, I can click here, and I can say like I can type in my event make a YouTube video now there's two things I can do I can if I like that color I can go immediately and click the add button and that says make a YouTube video I can come here and click edit and what you can see here is it has a little bit more features I can change the name of that by clicking this I can include the location by here I can say for all day and that's owned by default I can say start today ends like if I want to make a YouTube for the rest of this week I could go ends like on Friday and so it says make a YouTube video to remind me that if I want a recurring events or if I wanted to repeat it like every, daily Monday through Friday weekly monthly or yearly I could choose to repeat that on however you chose the option within that drop down box I could add a reminder I could click this and say remind me five minutes before a certain time or a week before a certain time to let me know that that events coming up now since I chose it on today I'm not going to set any reminders then I could put notes things that I wanted to make sure I didn't forget so once I complete that I hit done and that way that I could add it here but let me go and show you one more thing you can delete an event by hitting the delete button now going back here so if I put back make a YouTube video all right I can then from here I can change the from the blue to like you can see purple uh, like if I wanted to make it just for me I can choose the purple and if I wanted to edit details it brings back up the box now edit details is slightly different than the edit dot 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 the edit details this just allows you to edit the details that will be placed on the calendar since you're editing the details it's not going to let you delete the event so this edit details allows you to come in here and do the things that I showed you when you finish hit done and it adds it to there so the edit details is slightly different than the actual edit when you hit the edit it's just like edit details but it does provide you with a delete event now since I'm not going to do anything different I'm going to hit the cancel so as you can see here you can add things to your calendar you can go forward you can go backwards uh, through your calendar on the left this shows you the months and as you can see here dependent upon your view view at the top you can show your months you can show your weeks so it's a great little application if you would like to know when you have like for example if I wanted to put what medicines I take on certain days I could make sure that I'm taking my daily medicine uh, here and I could put a specific time or put reminders so that it reminds me to take my medication so if you're someone that likes to keep a 
appointments so that you're not missing something like a doctor's appointment uh, as you can create a schedule like for your school schedule your work schedule this is just an online calendar not an online calendar I'm sorry and a calendar that you install on your system very similar to the online calendars the only difference is since I'm not syncing this no one can actually uh, get into my online account and make changes here because this is a calendar that's on my system now if you're using the gnome desktop you can sync it with online calendars and I do have on my website at the bottom syncing with a gnome desktop it shows you how you can synchronize so that you can mac uh, match it up with like Google calendars, Microsoft calendars, and different online calendars. But that you need to be using the GNOME desktop environment. So if you're looking for a nice little application to keep up with your events, then I recommend you to give Calendar or GNOME Calendar a try. Hopefully this video has helped someone and have a great day.